Hi, I'm Jim Bridges and uh, I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum and today I'm here with... Paul Harvey, the author of and illustrator of The Invincible Planet. And you wrote it too. That's why I was the author. Okay, well this is the Invincible Bunyips again, but this time playing cricket. Well, the other was the Mighty Bunyips, this is the Invincible Bunyips, oh. based on Bradman's The Invincibles. Ah. You, so everything that you do is, has a historical perspective, yeah? Oh, just, look, I like my sport. Yeah. Um, and I like animals, animal matters and kids, so um, I wanted to write about, uh, write and illustrate things that interest me. I thought that would make the job a lot easier, so I did. Um, Numbats? Numbats again, yeah. yeah. So these characters, basically, they follow on from the Mighty Bunyips. Um, you play footy in winter, cricket in summer, so a lot of the same characters are in the team. Wearing a warning jumper there. Yeah, well, yeah, I love my warning. And um, why is this guy excited? Because because Grandpa's going to tell him this. So eating, I changed the the uh, the uh, rhyme in this. The I'm a bit So I changed that in this. So it's a double rhyme. So he's very excited about that. And I was very excited about that. So okay. So you want to read one now? Eating ice cream and jelly in front of the telly. My granddad and I watched the cricket. Pop, did you ever play? I started to say as the Aussies took some bunnies wicket. So the idea here is that this is the keeper in the keeper position on that wall and this is the catcher, uh, the celebrating and um, he's snicking at this bunny. He's yeah. snicking at this in the English uh, colours. Straight to Warner here in the slip. Uh, now let me think, Pop said with a wink, wiping ice cream from his nose. I played a World Cup when I was a pup. I could tell you the story, I suppose. So he's excited to hear the story. Yeah, well, that's a... And once again, there's a... Um, so here are all the characters on every page. Yeah, the, these are the, the characters from the from, from the previous um, book on on football. And there's um, mm, it's interesting. He's a spinner, so that's the pose of Warney um, at uh, Lords. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, where are we in the story now? I'll go back. This is just quickly. These are all based on Australian champs, so. Uh, Booney, the Tasmanian, is a Tassie Devil. Um, the War Brother, the War Brothers, were the Wombats. Um, then that's Jason Gillespie uh, was the uh, Emu. It looks so a bit look, like, looks yeah, a bit like look him. Yeah. A bit like him. This was a Lily. That's a Lily pose. Yeah. Um, bowling style. Then the keeper was Ray Spider, the Ray the Funnel was Spider. And I had a female character in this one, so um, who plays a pivotal role. So Who's this? Was, Who's this? Uh, I think it was Lenny Pat. I sort of based that on a bit of Pascoe and a bit of um, um, oh, Rodney Hogg, actually. Very Rodney Hoggish. And is that, that, is that Richie Bernard or something? Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It? And that's Stumpy Taylor. He's a Stumpy Taylor. So um, Taylor was the oh, Australian okay. captain. So yeah. Stumpy Taylor. And, um, and so she plays a big a big part. Does she? She does. So okay, all right, through. right. Eh? Now, and you look there's like a lot of that steep tradition in cricket, so it was very much that, um, you know, in the, having the team dinner in, in suits. And this is in England already? Oh, no, 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 they're Australian, but they play okay. a World Cup against the cricketing nations, the great cricketing nations. And she plays a great poker, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So, oh, now this is interesting. Now, we have to, you have to explain who these people are. Well, these were all the, like, all the cricketing nations, so Sash and Mongoose was obviously Sash and um, Tendulkar. Um, Khan was the Pakistani Cobra, so like Imran Khan. Um, there was South Africans, Barry, was, um, Barry um, Richards. Um, Rothschild's giraffe is the type of giraffe I use there, so he's Graham Rothschild. Uh, Vivian Lloyd is based on Vivian Lee and uh, Vivian Lee, Vivian <laughs> Richards, yeah. Hank Clive Lloyd. Uh, commonly called uh, Viv Richards. Richard yeah. the Kiwi with a ball in his hand. His nickname was Peewee with a ball in his hand. He could fly. Yes. Um, then Manu Want to Have a Peanut was the, um, I named him Manu from a, a little Sri Lankan kid that was at my kid's school and he was a lovely, lovely kid so I said I'd name the character, the Sri Lankan character in the book after him. Edward Fox is based on Jardine, um, Not the dreaded, Rhodes, dreaded Jardine. Yeah, and then there's the Indian characters and um, um, Kurt Le Flamingo was a fast bowler from Who's the that? West Indies. Who's that? Who's one, Marco Polo. Marco Polo was the Polo ring, it's the type of sheep. Okay. Polo sheep. So, okay. so Edward Fox with his monogram socks hailed from the county of Devon, where uh, Jardine came from, an aristocrat in a harlequin hat, Sir Ed Captain the Royal Order. Okay. So this is, they're playing a World Cup against these guys from... They're mixed. Yeah, mixed, mixed culture. That's beautiful. So I wrote that, so look, basically... Look, look, even got the red bum in it. Well, that's the 
So there's the red spots yeah, yeah, yeah. right up. So it creates yep. that. Yep. Um, That's a great look. Yes, yeah, so he spanned the ball so much he'd get a knot in his trunk. A spinner. So they, the publishers got me, signed me up to do this book before the first one even came out. Mm. And I always, I thought I'd do a cricket book. And I, so the, the funny story is I was, I was driving out of the bush um, with the kids in the back of the car and I lost, uh, did the clutch in the car. And I was... Not the clutch. We were a long way from anywhere, you know, okay. really remote, no one around. Um, I managed to get the car out and strangely, the day before I'd met the Gunbauer mechanic, I think he's Whitliff was his name or something like that, and so I um, got the car to his place and then the kids all went home with the grandfather and, and Caro and I had to get, um, I had to wait for a clutch to come up from Melbourne. So I sat in this dingy little, instead of this beautiful country, you know, sitting on the banks of the river beside a campfire, I sat yeah. in this dingy little garage in Gunbower and wrote the whole story in their office um, amongst um, oily well, rags and you didn't cigarette butts. Yeah, you didn't change much? Hmm? Any girl posters on the wall? Uh, yeah, there were a couple, I which I, was, I think I was inspired here. Oh, okay. That's a beautiful drawing, Paul. Beautiful. That's a baboon. Certainly is okay. Now, so this, this is uh, well. That's the lily. So oh, lily sure, always yeah, had the um, you know the, the cricket, the yes. gold cricket bat round. Yeah. Um, so that's he's very much a lily character. So yeah. you get the lily feel in that. Um, that and that was the celebrating. But I, I couldn't have a beer in a kids' book, so he's putting fizzy stuff on his head. Okay, and that's cute too. Isn't it? His fire and pace. He tore up the place with the best bowling I'd ever seen. Okay. Now, who's this character? So this is Razorback. So this is Snout, who was the full forward and that's the last right, and almost right. the match winner, which is based on the Dunstall character. So, But this is based on someone else. Well, the very next, a little bit of Piggy Botham, okay? So that he's bad as a P-I-G. Yeah, uh, Piggy, 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 oink, oink, oink. So um, Botham, who used to put the Aussies to the Test, sword yeah. many, many years. He did, yeah. So the story goes that uh, he, he says uh, Snout can play for us because he, uh, but Big Snout was a gun, an Englishman's son, and he, here's his passport in case there's some doubt. With batter, with ball, Big Snout had it all. It was nothing this pick couldn't do. Looking on with a smirk, old stump went berserk. Ed Fox had pulled off a coup. Yeah, that's beautifully drawn. Look at the line go. Okay, oh, now we're in. So the Aussies are batting. Uh, Snuffy Taylor smacking it around. Um, I just wanted one of those, sh you know, yep. scenes from above. Yep. Um, with the ball being smacked out of the out of the front. Cicada as usual. Cicada as usual. Yeah, and you've got a nice little panoramic view there. Uh, this is the Gillespie character coming into bowl. So we actually started off the Aussies started off pretty well. They yep. um, bowled the hippo around his legs. Um, there's the keeper there celebrating. Stumpy's his innings was blazing. He's batting amazing. Okay, beautiful. And then, um, as with any great side, when it's a question of pride, the cream will rise to the top. So Sasha Mongoose comes in and gets a century. Um, oh. He's run out by the Booney character. Yeah. So we can see we've got um, a crab <laughs> playing for West Indies who's just short of the line. Yeah. And uh, once I again, we've got the bunny. I love the way you put the eye above, uh, over the over this shell. Because you know, his eyes actually, they, they, they are his eyes, but you put it over the, um, the claw and it looks like it looks like his face. Cool. Yeah, uh, and now what's the story behind Daryl Hare? Daryl Hare, so he's a rabbit. Daryl Hare was the um, Australian umpire that started um, no-balling Muralitherin when <laughs> Muralitherin was bowling and almost created a, a, oh, a, an incident. Yeah, I remember So that, uh, yeah. called him for no ball, so Daryl yeah. Hare got a gig. Because yeah, okay. we have a mural different character. So Big Snout comes out and starts smacking the ball all over the place. Breaks the ball in half. Smashes the ball in half, which is a, which is a bit of a... Which is impossible, isn't it? Uh, enough for Snout. Okay. So Snack, he uh, smacked his first ball for four, then hit four more, then went over the top with a six. His stroke play was charming, his scoring alarming. He was spanking the slows and the quicks. Clyde bowled him a Yorker, which didn't bother this porker. He stepped forward and gave it a pound. So he dug one in short, snout, let out a snort and tonked it right out of the ground. So he was smashing the ball everywhere and it looks like they could win. Yeah, there's a little shock horror here. Going. Indeed. Ah, the crowd's thing. going berserk. Bradman. Hmm. There, so that's there's, a Bradman and he's Bradman. drinking a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, is he a Richie teetotaler? Yes, great Richie Benno. Yeah. Uh, this is Murph Hughes with the uh, 
put the zinc on his nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the shark eating the pie with the salt tomato sauce. Yeah. So that was, once again, a lot of native animal, really, really busy. Yeah. Lots of in-jokes with the seagull eating chips and um, yeah, uh, lots of Australian natives in there. So the You've got to have are... a seagull. And what's the shark doing there? Oh, he's eating a pie and getting sauce all over himself. Yeah, okay. Um, so he looked likely to snatch an unwinnable match. Sir Ed's selection of snap was inspired with one ball to go. The school ball would show only four were required. So last ball, he needs a four. Okay. Okay. So That's um, a great shot. So this is the, the mum. Yeah. So she jumps. She has uh, young Don, Don Bradman, yeah. in, in the pouch. She jumps up for the impossible catch flies through the air like a rocket. She jumps over the line, which is quite common now, even at the... Was, you, you can't do that, can when you? I, when I wrote the book, they hadn't had a, a World Cup against a, a combined team. Life imitates art is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I wrote the book, and the next year, Australia played a combined team, one-day team, of all the different cricketing playing nations. So it was quite interesting how that happened one year after I wrote the book. So she... So you see this in 2020s now, where somebody jumps over the line, knocks the ball back, and the catch can be completed. Uh, Maxwell did it recently with um, Quining. So basically this is what happens. She jumps up, knocks the ball back into play. She goes into the crowd. Here she's here, smashing into the crowd. Yeah. Um, and her joey, Don, jumps out of her pouch ah. and pulls off a one-handed screamer. Once These are my kids. Yeah, I could tell by the ears. Uh, I even met the <laughs> wife in this one. Um, That's the wife. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. And this was Kim. And her name's Carol. Actually, the book's dedicated book? to it, didn't you? Because you left her out of the other book. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The, the other book's dedicated to the dad who said, "You've got to do a bloody kids' book. What are you doing? Do yeah. a kids' book. You'd yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. Do a kids' book." So that's Don being uh, tossed up in the air. Um, yeah. And celebrated for his uh, amazing catch. It's <laughs> a great. The opposite angle of that. Yes. Yeah. And, and basically, because uh, so if we just shoot back, because. Had it finished. He was brave, he was bold, he was just three years old. Donnie snatched an incredible catch. With mum in the crowd, the grab was allowed, I substituted once the match. Because she went out of the playing field, yeah, he was sub- allowed to come on and substitute for her. Yeah, so the catch. There was some substitute. Yes, yes, yes. So that's Beautiful, the, drawing upside down. That's the first World Cup. Yeah, okay, and that's it. That's it, and that's the granddad and the boy. So and life. Morning, jump shirt on. Life followed art. Mm. Yes, life imitated art. Okay. It's interesting. And there's that picture again. And oh, now look, let's have a look at this. Okay. To be the best, you have to take on the best. The Bunyams are back. This time, taking on the world eleven in three game series that would make cricket history. Yeah. Well, pretty good, Paul. Did it ever sell in India? Uh, I don't know. Sold, it, this one didn't sell as well as the other one, um, which is tends to be a footy and a cricket thing, I think. But um, I think this was the better book, a better drawing, and yeah, well, uh, you got a better rhyme, yeah. better, better, better poetry. I yeah. thought. Uh, okay, well, there it is, folks, uh, out of the ACM library, um, the Invincible Bunyips. And thanks a lot for coming along, Paul. Thanks and for having me. This is Jim Bridges and Paul Ivy saying, see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.